Hello everyone, welcome to Pandas Tutorial Chapter 1, how to read the data from the file. Well, first let's check which pandas version I have here. So I'm going to say exclamation mark, conda list, grab pandas. As you can see here, I have the pandas 21 version. So check yours, okay? Check yours if you have the pandas or right version for this tutorial. Alright, let me import the pandas here as pd. That means I'm going to use pandas as pd. So I'm going to check the file I'm going to open here. First, I'm going to open this friendlist.csv file in the Excel. So let me open this one here. And uh, as you can see, this CSV file has name, AG, job, and I have the six information here. I'm going to open this one in the pandas now. How? Let me show you now. So the pandas have the function name the pd.read underscore csv. So df is just my variable name, and I'm going to use the pandas. pd is pandas.read underscore csv, and I'm going to just give the the file name here. My file is under data directory and the friend underscore list.csv file and the shift enter. All right, now the df variable have the data frame. The information is from the, the friend list.csv file. You can just say df and shift enter here to see the data. So the df has a six the information, right? Just exactly same with the csv file. All right, then the, your question may be, so does the read CSV only support CSV file? No, not at all. The read CSV file, uh, read CSV function supports any other text file format. For example, I, op I will open the other file, which extension is not the CSV file. I'm going to just open the friend underscore list.txt file, which exactly have the same information as CSV file. So I can just copy this one and paste, but I'm going to open the txt file here and shift enter. So it worked. DF has now the information from the friend underscore list.txt file. I'm going to open the DF here as you can see, the data is exactly the same because if you open the friend list.txt file, this one has the exactly same information as the friend list underscore friend underscore list.csv file. So I'm going to open both. Actually, these two have the same information and the comma separate. So CSV file is nothing but has the delimiter with the comma here. Now your question may be, what if the text file have the delimiter, which is not the comma? Maybe what if the delimiter is tab? That's great, great question. So I have the example here, friend list, uh, and the delimiter is tab. So this file actually same information, but the delimiter is actually tab, right? So I'm going to open this file in the pandas now. How? Let me show you here. So here, I'm going to use the same, same function, read csv file, uh, read csv function, df is pd.read csv, and I'm going to open the file in the data, friend list, and uh, tab.txt, and uh, what if I just say like this, and uh, say df, and as you can see now, there is something wrong. We should have the three columns like this, right? It has three columns, name, age, job, columns like this. But as you can see here, the pandas doesn't know if this one has the three columns. It is just showing the one column in the tab within just a column. So we need to let the pandas know that in this file, the tab is the delimiter, not the comma. So how can let the pandas know that the tab is the delimiter? This is very easy. Just say here, give one more keyword parameter. Delimiter is not the comma. Delimiter is tab. And I shift the enter. And if we check the df now here, then bang, here you can see now the pandas know that the tab is the delimiter and that we have the, the properly three columns in the data frame. Well, for your information, if you just want to see just first two columns, you can just say df.head and uh, two as parameter here. Then you can see first two items from the, the first 
and if you want to see just the two items from the last, then the, instead of say head, you can say tail and two. And uh, by default, head and tail is using the five items by default. So if you don't give any parameter, then it just gives the five, five items like this. All right. So the next is what if, what if the, the file doesn't have the column name? For example, here, every file we use so far has the header information, name, age, job, name, age, job, and name, age, job. Every file actually had a header column name here, but what if the data doesn't have the column name, just like this file. If I open this file, then as you can see, this file just have the data information, but doesn't have the column name. So I'm going to open this file now. How to open it? Well, now we know that how to open it, right? The app is pd.read.csv and I'm going to just open the file data friend list no head csv. All right, open the df. And uh, there is something wrong because the file doesn't have the header information. The first row became a column name something wrong so we should let the pandas know that this file doesn't have any header information so i will show you how to do it here so df is pd that read csv and uh, the data was data friend list no head csv and the header is none we are we are letting the pandas know that this file doesn't have a header so if you say df here, then now every data went to the row and the row had the column name is just indexed like 0, 1, 2. Now it is okay, but what if we want to give the column name here? This is very easy. Just say df.columns and give the list like this. We have the three columns, so I'm going to put these commas, uh, quotes here, and name, ag, and job. All right, then df.head. Then as you can see now, this column now have the header. All right, good. But what if you want to give the column header at once when you are assigning data from the file? All right, that is easy actually. So you can just do the one line function here, pd.readcsv and the data friend list no, no head.csv and we give the header, there's no header, and uh, we give the column name here, names, names, first one is uh, name, second one is ag, and the last one is job. And uh, say the f, all right. You just saw that we load the data from the csv file, which doesn't have the header information, but we just let the pandas know that there was, there is no header, but I want to have the, the column name like this. One line function and you saw the data frame now have the header like this. All right, this is it. Well, you can see this practice file from my GitHub here, github.com, minsoc heal pandas, and this is cheat sheet for you. Also, you can download from you can download from here, so you can go here, clone and download and practice yourself. And I will see you on the next video. Thank you very much. See you on the next video.